Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. Let us see the next video on number system and conversions. Let us convert decimal to other number systems like decimal to binary, decimal to octal and decimal to hexadecimal. First let us see the rules behind conversion of decimal number system to other number system. Suppose if we have a decimal number, we are need to convert that into binary. What we need to do? We need to divide the number by the base of the number to which we are converting. So here in the binary number system, the base is 2. That's why we need to divide the decimal number by 2 and we need to take out the remainders. Similarly, while converting into octal number from the decimal number, we need to divide by the base that is 8. Similarly, to convert decimal number to hexadecimal number, we need to divide by 16. So let us go through this and first let me take decimal to binary conversion. So the first example is let me take a simple number 100 with base 10. I am converting that into binary. So don't get confused 100 seems like a binary number but with the base 10 it is a decimal number 100. So we need to take that 100 and start dividing by 2. If we divide this by 2 it is 250 is 100 and the remainder is 0. I am writing the remainder here. And again divide by 2. 225 is 50 and the remainder is 0. Again I am going to divide this by 2. 212 is 24 and the remainder is 1. Again it can be divided by 2. 26 is 12 and the remainder is 0. Again further we can divide. 2 3 is 6 the remainder is 0. 3 can be divided again by 2, 2 1s are 2 and remainder is 1. So we got these binary numbers. Now carefully we need to take these numbers into account. From bottom to top we need to take these numbers into consideration then we will be getting 1 1 0 0 then 1 double 0. This is our binary equivalent for 100. This is how we can convert any decimal number to binary number. Then let me take one more example with the decimal point. Let me take 18.625. This is a decimal number. Let us convert into binary. Now we will be having a decimal point here. So first we need to divide this as the number which is at the left of the decimal point and right of the decimal point. So to the left number from the decimal point, we need to adopt the same method. We need to start dividing by 2. Here, 2 9s are, the remainder is 0. This goes 2 4s are 8. Here, the remainder is 1. Again, it can be divided as 2 2s are 4, remainder as 0. Again, 2 1s are 2, the remainder is 0. Now, we can take this number into account. This is 1. 0, 0, 1, 0. This is for 18. Now, let me take the decimal part into account. 0 0.625. Now, for this, what we need to do? As we divided here, we need to multiply this by 2. Remember, for the decimal point and right side number, we need to take that and we need to multiply by the base to which we are converting into 2. So, this gives 1.25. Here I am taking this one outside and the remaining term is 0.25. Again I am multiply this by 2. If you multiply this we are going to get 0.5. I am going to take this 0 again. So 0.5 is remaining into 2 again it gives 1.0. Now I am taking this one. So we left with 0. So no need to take that 0 and multiply with 2 again. Again we are going to get 0. So these numbers we need to take from top to bottom. This gives 101. So the final conversion number is 10010 this number dot this number 101. This is the binary equivalent for 18.625 as decimal. Like this we can convert 
any decimal number with a decimal point into the binary numbers like this. Next let us see decimal to octal conversion. So let me take the same example again 100 which we have taken earlier to convert this into octal. Octal is with base 8. So here again what we need to do? We need to start divide this by 8 now. In the previous case we are converting decimal to binary so we have divided by 2. Now we are converting it to octal so with base 8 so we are going to divide that by 8. So it, it is 8 twelves are that is 96 the remainder is 4. Again I am going to divide this 8 ones are 8 remainder is 4. We can't divide this further. So this is our decimal octal equivalent for 100. 100 with base 10 will be same as 144. Again here we need to take from bottom to top. right? So this is octal number. Let me convert the same 100, 100 which is a decimal number into hexadecimal format. So the base is 16. How to convert that? 16 divide 100 from 16. Right? So here 16, 6 is 96. So here the remainder is 4. So we can't further divide the 6. So 100 in decimal will be 64 in hexadecimal. This hexadecimal representation can also be done using H like this. This is how we can convert decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal. In the similar way, as we did here, if you have a decimal point, we can use the same method. If we have any fractional part here, we need to multiply this number by 2 if we are converting into binary. We need to multiply by 8 if we are converting into octal. Multiply with 16 if you are converting into hexadecimal. To the left part, we need to start dividing by 2, dividing by 8, dividing by 16. We are going to get the binary, octal and hexadecimal number from the decimal number. This is about the conversion from decimal to other number systems. Thank you.